Welcome to the YouTube channel of your family in lifelong learning, MSA Institute. I am Teacher Anna, a Singapore-trained math teacher, and I want to tag you along to Mervyn's Singapore Math Adventure. As promised in our previous session, we are supposed to answer five challenge problems. But I think we enjoyed a lot and we ran out of time. That is why in today's video, we are going to finish the last two challenge problems. I think this will be faster and easier. Now, if this is your first time to watch our learning series on Merlin Singapore Math, I am inviting you to watch our previous videos. So I'm inviting you to click the notification bell, subscribe, and I know you will like the video, so hit the like button as well. So what are we waiting for? Let's start! Ezekiel bought some candies. So we have here Ezekiel and his sweet and colorful candies. He ate three and gave four to his sister. If he has eight candies left, how many candies did he buy from the store? Hmm, do you think this is an easy one? Let's find out. For our solution, we are going to use model drawing again. So we have here Ezekiel and he bought candies from a store. He ate three and he also gave four to his sister. Isn't he sweet like his candies? And after eating and giving candies, he has eight candies left. So, you have here our model drawing. Isn't it easy? You can see they're already represented in blocks. What happened to the candies of Ezekiel? And how are we going to know how many candies he bought from the store? Do you think it's easy now with our model drawing? I guess so. It means that the green block will now represent the total number of candies bought by Ezekiel. And if that is our idea, then what operation are we going to use? Is this an addition story? Hmm. Or maybe a subtraction story. What do you think? Oh, you are very, very correct. It is an addition story. We need to know the sum of the candies, the sum of the numbers that we can see here in our model drawing. So, 3 plus 4, that's right, plus we need to add the remaining candies, 8, and our sum is, hmm, that was quick, and that is a right answer. We have 15. Therefore, the answer to our challenge problem is that Ezekiel bought 15 candies. Isn't it easy? This is your Merlin Singapore Math approach to problem solving. Quick, yet gives you the correct answer. Good job! 
for our challenge number five. Are you ready? Our challenge problems are getting tougher, but I know it's getting easier for everyone. That's the power of your Merlin Singapore map. So let's go on. Jap and Koi have five apples each. So Jap has five and Koi also has five. Red apples, very sweet, and these are healthy snacks when you go to school. So what happens next? Jap ate two apples. All right, wow. Jap must have loved these apples, huh? While her friend Koi bought another three apples. So remember, Jap ate two apples. Koi did not eat yet, but he bought, yes, three more apples. How many apples do they have all together now? That is our challenge for this problem. So as you can see, this is the concrete stage of our Merlin Singapore math approach. Let's now go to our solution. So for our solution board for challenge number five, so we know that Jap and Koi have five apples each. And you can see there, we again used model drawing. I know it's starting to be your favorite math tool because it makes it easier and quicker for us to understand the challenge problems. We also know that Jap ate how many apples? Two apples. So originally she has five and then she ate two. So what are we going to do? Are we going to add or subtract? You are right, we are going to subtract because after eating two apples, the number of, of her apples became fewer. So we're going to subtract, then five minus two will give us a difference of, you are again correct, three. So how many apples does Jap have now? Yes, she has now three. Now let's go to Koi. Take note that Koi did not eat any of his apples. But what did he do? He bought more apples. Okay, so he already has five. And then he bought how many more? Mm-hmm, three more. So, since... The apples of Koi became more what operation? Yes, it will now be addition. So we are going to add. So if we add 5 and 3, the sum will now tell us how many apples does Koi have now? And the sum of 5 and 3 will give us? Eight. So now we know that Jap has three and Koi has eight. We will now be able to answer our task for this challenge, which is how many apples do they have all together now? You have their clue there, all together. Therefore, we are going to add. And when we add 3 and 8, our answer is 11. Therefore, the answer to the challenge problem is they already have 11 apples all together. Isn't it easy how we use the Merlin Singapore math approach in solving challenge problems? I know it's easier for you now. Easy, quick, and it gives you the correct answers. So this is it 
for today's video. I hope you learned a lot. And if you wish to learn more about the Merlin Singapore Math Approach, you may enroll at our Merlin Math Enrichment Program here at your Family and Lifelong Learning MSA Institute. It is open for kids from nursery to grade school levels. 30 to 40 minute sessions will be very, very helpful. Now, if you want to learn more, you may also want to grab a copy of our Singapore Math books. We have a series of books that will really help you master, yes, the Merlin Singapore Math approach to answering challenge problems. You may visit our online store. That's online store at msainstitute.com. So I'll see you next time.